As an element, water is one thing above all, capricious, sometimes downright explosive. And can sometimes really slow things down, even pistol bullets. Water doesn't like tight at all. If it's forced into a shape, it adapts, but as soon as the outside shell is gone, it does whatever it wants. Mostly a huge mess. But water can also be quite nimble. If a car tire comes along, a good 10 litres can be sprayed away in seconds. That could be described as involuntary personal hygiene. But water is also an accelerator. If you slide on it, it's like sitting on tiny little balls that reduce the friction between the slide and your bottom. The result is speed. Water forms drops. One drop. Lots of drops. But why are drops round? Well, the reason is the water particles. They like each other. Therefore, they attract each other. On the outside of the drop, however, they are only pulled inwards. The result is an almost perfect sphere, but only for fractions of a second when it's in free fall. Water has quite a temper, especially when it hits a hot surface. Then it starts to dance. The reason? Part of the water evaporates and forms a microscopic air cushion on which the drops float. When water cools to below zero degrees Celsius, it turns to ice. The water molecules freeze in their given positions. The water is now a large three-dimensional lattice of ice crystals, but the bonding between the water molecules is weak. When the snowball hits a solid surface, the crystal lattice shatters into tiny ice crystals and they turn back into water, at the latest in summer. And quite honestly, that's when water is the most fun anyway.